Gabriel Terrible, Eric Morales prepares to do it one more time. Están listos. El terrible Eric Morales. He's boxed 15 world champions in his distinguished and storied career. Eric Morales, trilogies with Marco Antonio Barrera, the first fight of which never to be forgotten. But after losing to Juan Diaz in 2007, he retired from the ring. Now he's trying to come back again, trying to roll back the years. Is this just another deluded old fighter who thinks he can come back or has he got one last great performance in him I think he felt the left hook there always had a good oh, chin though didn't he and often needed him too for eyes like that is already landing see when fighters get older they don't have the reflexes they take the full force of punches and that's the problem it's not that their chin is deserted them, it's just that they're being caught more cleanly than taking the full force of the punch, and that's the problem for fighters who have a hard career like Morales. There's the question too of what the punch resistance is like. Up and down, body shot from Maidana. Stomping home the punches early on, a little ominously, for a slow-looking Morales. He doesn't have the snap with his punches to keep this fellow at bay. He doesn't have the physical strength to push him back. I was a little bit better for Morales when he tries those tactics. I think he's going to have to leave him up and show him a movement, but that's never been his style. A lot of punches getting in there is a cut for Morales as well. I saw him dabbing away, and now he's turned round. You can see there is a bit of damage. Adds to the problems. We're already getting backed up far more than we were used to seeing in the, the great years here. Got him with a good right hand on the counter there. Morales, that was his best punch of the round. Oh, no. Morales, get better from him, let some combinations go. I suspect that in his peak years, I'm about to pick my daughter for breakfast. You know, some of the moves are still there. That was a little flashback the way he put that little burst together and stood his ground after it. My daughter. Pump save again. Ubrutinus. Big right hand from the Argentinian. Morales. Big too easy to hit. My two. He often was. We've seen some classy work from Morales in this round, but he doesn't look capable of standing with Maidana, although that's really as impressive. What about this? Eric Morales, round two, on the front foot. Good right hand from Morales. But he is a lot, lot slower, isn't he, now? Yeah. You know, and he doesn't have the power to keep Maidana off, which is a huge problem. But intact at the very least. Oh my God, I really been meant to look crude at the moment. Lovely spearing jab from Eric Morales there. He was always a star right from the word go. As a pro, even as a teenager. Old skills just flowing out here and there. Yeah. Who fights Paul McCloskey next weekend? Good. Left hand from Morales, who was telling everyone who'd listened this week that he knew what he was doing. He was perfectly calm about this. It was a stage comeback. He knew what he wanted to do, and he was confident he could do it. Am I the only one who thinks I could win? He said at the press conference since that four years ago last King to fight he's done okay so far now that Maidana with a new sense of purpose
goes back to work here, as if to say, right, I've had enough of this. Yeah, Maidana's taking skill out of the equation, but tremendous pass for Morales. Look at this, and listen to the crowd respond. This is a tale of the unexpected here from Eric Morales. Morales is calling him on to stand and trade. What an incredible man he is. Talk about rolling back the years. That was terrific from Morales. The way he came back at Maidana there. Met fire with fire. Tonight and then starting to think, well, what am I doing here, really? And here he's got Maidana on the back foot again. What is unfolding here before us tonight, I wonder. I just wonder. Well, this is quality stuff from Morales. A little bit there. You do wonder... Has he cut a corner or two on the way into this? He's caught with the right hand. Morales, you can see he's prepared thoroughly. He's got himself in as good a condition as he could be in at 34. Look at the crowd. They're on their feet here. They're just beginning to wonder if Morales could possibly produce what would be the upset of the year. Well, this is a big round for Morales. He's taken the play completely away. For Maidana, and you can expect Morales might have looked at tapes of Maidana and thought, how crude is this guy? I can take him apart when he's come close to doing that. That's a tremendous round for Morales. That, I took it, decent shot, no problem still. That's a good shot, that's a bit stiffer for Maidana. Kind of in a leverage for that shot. Morales trying to come back again, walked into a right hand. Listen to the crowd here. It's quite extraordinary, this one. In the quality one coming back from Morales. Lovely left to. Okay, same story. Good rally again from Morales, and now the crowd are right behind him. They want to see the shock here. They want to witness a bit of history. My double in his career today at the higher levels. Oh, what a terrific turn. He's having that one. Got to him there, Morales. Maidana, wobbly. What do you know about this business from Eric Morales? That was run straight out of that brewery hand with Barrera. Morales is on top here. He might be on the verge of something that would really hit the headlights. Solid shots. He senses it now. Maidana. Good, heavy-looking shots back from him, but Morales has taken all of those and come back with the equal and, at times, much better. Morales, two points up at the moment for the quality of the work. Some of the rounds Maidana has outworked him. Here's the, look at the quality. Here's the left hook. All up in my ear. Beautiful shot. The mic is loud, but... That came close to scoring the knockdown. Followed it up, body shot, head yeah. shot. It's the quality always coming from Morales. Yeah. Much of a chance this late on in his boxing life. Here's Maidana coming up strong. Morales just puts the cover on. I think he's been stung by one of these. Bad moments here for Morales. Maidana's getting to him here in the ninth.
sure my Donis can thought that their man would have the power to take out a fellow they probably thought had a wonderful career, but which basically wants in terms of old man. in glory here tonight. He's defied the critics and those who thought he shouldn't be there. What a terrific effort from Eric Morales, written off beforehand. And he's being lifted aloft. Was it enough? His clean work earlier on in the contest, fighting all the way with one eye. Here's Jim's card. You've got it level, Jim. Yep, I've got level. it dead level. I've got Maidana winning the last round, uh, the same as yourself. Six rounds apiece. We go to the scorecards. Dick Hout scores the bout 114-114 even. Jerry Roth and Adelaide Bird score it 116 to 112 for the winner by majority decision from Argentina, Marcos El Chino. gets it on a majority decision one of the judges had it level which was about how Jim and I had it I thought maybe Morales might even have stolen it judges there 116 to 112 to have a clue what fight they were watching you know it was a lot closer than that if anything I thought maybe Morales did more to win it 